What's up y'all? I'm Sheila J and welcome to the Diva Dish. This episode is all about Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, the newest installment in the Power Universe. Um, I'm here with my son Christopher KG Clark. Uh, we are so excited to be here with you. I'm a little bit more excited than he is, but <laughs> I'm not by myself. We both love this universe. We can't wait to get into it with you guys. We've been eagerly waiting since Power Book 2 left off. It's snatched all my edges. So I guess this gave me enough time to grow them back, child. All right, so like I said, we got a lot of new faces. The kid that's playing the young Kanan, his name is Makai Curtis. Um, then playing his mother, Raquel Thomas, we've got Patina Miller. Um, lots to see from her. She killed it this first episode, so I'm excited to see the rest of the season. Then we got an old school vet, y'all. We got Omar Epps, Mr. Love and Basketball, Mr. Higher Learning, Mr. <laughs> Trek. He's back, face a little fat, but he's still fine, y'all. All right, so let's talk about the looks. One of my favorite part of this season, we got the eight ball jackets, we got starter jackets, we got stacks, we got the boots, the knee high boots with the, the pointed tip at the knee child. We got, the, we got the cars, we got the Toyota Super in there what Range Rover the old school Range Rover we got the leather jackets with the lamb's wool on the inside y'all the music Jordans we got Tribe Called Quest we got Public Enemy we got Back to Life Soul to Soul if you are a child of the 90s you will love this show set in 1991 is when the series starts uh, let's get into it so this episode actually opens 1985 you can't mess with my radio ll cool j iconic song open up at the basketball court a kid is coming in holding a boom box with his kango on reminiscent of ll cool j of course ll cool j is playing and kanan is there kanan is a little husky child but he got him a good old bomber jacket which is also a staple piece of the 80s 90s he runs into these kids that are pretty much shaking him down for his money he kind of gets his ass kicked yeah he gets beat down by these kids and you know everybody's clowning them then we see jukebox if you were a fan and a watcher of power you know that jukebox was played by anika tony rose she did not play she was this cop lesbian friend of 50s from back in the day well canaan's back in the day she was very instrumental in the whole Tariq kitten Napping and just savage child. So she's there with him. It's established early that they are kind of package deal here. They're close. Love the narration. Yes! Kanan is the one narrating. I love it. Yes! Perfect! He's narrating through the whole thing. It's perfect because his voice kind of gives you the familiarity of the power universe. It's the only show I can think of is nowhere near similar to this show, but everybody hates Chris. Yes! Okay, so yeah, so he's he gets beat up, he goes home, and that's where we meet Raquel, his mama rock. Does not play for rush. She got the good old dark and lovely perm child. Good old Shay. She basically takes a sock. We see she's savage, stuffs it with some of his, what are they, metal cars? They were batteries. <laughs> yeah, the big batteries for a tour car. Savage. Or them big ass bloom boxes, child. Double D batteries, child. Triple D batteries. She took them back down to the park. Yeah. Told him to go get his. Mm -hmm. It said that if you don't go get them, she gonna get him. Yeah. And you can't run from mama, so. Basically, he goes back and gives them children a business job. He stayed like them children with that damn sock full of batteries. And what's so funny is they all stayed around and what did they turn? The girl said, can you whooping these niggas? <laughs> So good. Child, his mama Rocky is sitting there smoking a cigarette with her shades on, child, with her front. You know how they used to wear the front short and the back long? Had the little curl back, pushed forward, smoking a cigarette with her plastic frame, upright earrings, door knockers, 80s, 90s, hello. And watching her little boy get these children to business, child. Moving on. So then we skip to 1991. One of my favorite groups, one of my baby's favorite groups comes on in. Tribe Called Quest song, Bugging Out. So we cut to Canaan School. They're in the hallway. This is before uniforms, of course. You see the kids coming in the hall with their polo sweatshirts on. We got starter jackets, bomber jackets, esprit, guests, all this hype shit back in the 90s. Fly. All right, so then we cut to where at the school and Kanan's mom Raquel is there and they're in there talking to a guidance counselor and she's basically like, Kanan, you're a smart kid. You know what I'm saying? Very James St. Patrick reminiscent. No, I say, in my opinion, and I've been more to say this, I think 
Tariq and Kanan are just alike, if you think about it. Think about it like this. But Tariq don't like to fight. Before you say something, think about it like okay. this. Who taught Kanan the game? His mama. Who True. taught Who taught Tariq the game? His, His mama. mama. All right, so yeah, this guy, this counselor's talking to Raquel and Kanan about how, you know, this is a great opportunity. She wants him to test to go to this school in downtown New York because he's really smart. You know, she sees his potential. And his mama, of course, who, you know, it's not been established yet, but clearly she's in the game. You know, she wants a better life for her son. So she's like, you're going to take this test. You're going to go to the school that's that on that. So then we cut to uh, Kanan gets out, you know, with his mom. His mom is like, you're going to take that test and that's that on that. So she leaves. He's in the hallway at his locker. And this little girl comes up, child, with a little braid. Uh, and a little door knocker's on Miss Davina, who is lady love for Kanan, child. He loves a little girl. And it seems like he's like, she was fine. But uh, the fact that she didn't know she was fine made her a little finer. She might have a little something, something for him, child, but uh, I feel like she kind of just plays with him. And then we have a scene of, um, it was Jukebox singing, and... Can sing her ass off! Yeah, she was true for what she said to Tariq in power. what she say? She told, she told Tariq that Tasha couldn't sing like her on her best day. That's right! She lied. <laughs> <laughs> then it cuts to the cafeteria, you know... Kanan's admiring Davina and Jukebox is like, you know, she a baby lesbian at this point. She's like, um, why you keep jocking her, you know, because she was with her boyfriend. And he's like, you know, because Kanan kind of husking him, right? He ain't, he ain't really came into his own yet. Um, so he's a little insecure child and Jukebox is like, give it up. He was like, I never get it up. So probably later in the season, they will get together. You know, I wonder if that's uh, Sean's mama. Then they um, introduce the crew. Kanan's friends, yes. uh, famous, D Wiz. Uh, They're famous, beatboxing at the table. Yeah, famous was rapping, you know, just occasional high school stuff. Right. And then they introduced Buck 20, that's Davina Harris's boyfriend. Right. You know, and that's. Mr. Smooth. Yeah, that's where we see Envy come on, you know? Yeah. So the next scene, we cut to the hospital. Very reminiscent of the early 90s, you know, gang, gun violence, crack is their child, so it's just, you know, wild, wild west out here. So one of her crew members got shot, and she's at the hospital with, we see, we meet her brothers. Her, her little brother, Lulu, yeah. and her other brother, um, Marvin. Mm -hmm. And they introduce the secret code they have. Right, they had the secret language. Like they um like they'll say some what they say, wins wisdom's knowledge was right. what, what some they said. Yeah. And it's just a code numbers and uh secret alphabet. So basically she leaves and she's like, I got the hospital bill, but she's going to talk to what's the guy's name? She's going to talk to Hugo. They basically they got a deal with Hugo. Hugo has a nightclub and she just gives him cocaine so he sells to his customer. It's the nineties, so you know how people get down at parties and stuff like that. <laughs> and they're introduced to this crazy um white woman. They don't I don't think they introduce her name, mm -mm. but she has a little no one little chihuahua. No, it was a Pomeranian. Yeah, barking at uh, Rock and Lulu. And um, basically, her and Rock was about to tussle right in the middle of the room. It was not good. Yeah. Then they jumped to Public Enemy running for your life. It was so good. They jumped to the next scene. They showed a, one of their little hangout spots at an arcade. Of course, 90s. You know. This scene is also the introduction to Raquel's competition. The One of the other biggest drug dealers on the South Side, Unique, they call him. And uh, look like Kwame Chai. <laughs> Hot top fade with the part, but very vintage 90s. Had on the leather bomber, leather jacket. Yeah, grills. Grill, chains, Flavor Flav, Flav chains. Everything about the clock, child. I mean, you can't get in the more 90s. We're talking about he got on a mink bomber jacket. Was a a 750 BMW, mm -hmm. bulletproof that he gets made in Utah. Just 90s ghetto. This is the scene where they argue in the bar. They go. That's the nightclub. Who argued? I can't remember. Oh, uh, the white girl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this next scene, Rock is arguing with this white girl, who's Hugo's boyfriend. 
um, he was Hugo's girlfriend, I'm sorry. Yeah. And she's basically telling Rock that we don't need you no more because we got a new source. And Rock is like, you got me fucked up. Then Rock go off to talk to the bartender. He looked kind of shady. Yeah, very shady. He, he looked like a cop. cop. Yeah, he like a cop. He looked like a cop. Yeah, but he was really trying to get with Rock. And Rock was feeling him like Rock Girl. Like a cop all day long. Moving on. Next scene, out. this is the um, diner where... Kanan and his whole family meet up and always eat at. Everybody know they come there. Yep, everybody. Him, his uh, cousin Jukebox, her daddy Marvin, Lulu, Rock, and Famous comes with his sister and Marvin says, you gotta be paying this woman because ain't no woman just walking around with you free right. will. Right, looking like that. <laughs> yeah. Looking like that. Yeah. And they, you know, sit down to eat and they go outside after they're done eating and Rock and Marvin talking numbers again, and then uh, a car rolls by and they fire off a gun into the air and everybody gets down. And apparently it was to send a message to Rock uh, because, like I said, she has competition with the drug dealer Unique. So Kanan is hot after this whole little pop off thing, you know, because he's like anybody could have got it, you know. Um, and that's his mama, you know what I'm saying? So he like, what? This ain't cool. He's upset. Yeah, basically. he's pissed. He, and his mama like, pipe down. I got this. Mind your business. Right. He trying to tell her basically how Tariq was with ghosts. Tell me to teach me the game and he wouldn't do it. And he's telling her, I know. He's like, I know stuff. He's saying he knows her secret language. Where we have Unique. And Rock. Rock meeting up. and This is after the little shootout, child. Yeah, after the shootout, splitting up corners. And Rock, you know, she's pissed. She's saying, I got people on my side ready to go. Right. And you, you playing. Know, no matter where you were shooting at, you know, we ready to get down. And he's just telling her that I ain't got control over, you know. Little tangents. Little tangents. People just doing their little thing. Yeah. Yeah. But and he was like, somebody was trying to warn you, clearly. They come down to a compromise. They split up the corners. Mm hmm And they leave. And that's that scene. Right. We really get to know Unique, you know. He really represents a New York drug dealer. The accent, you know, the slang talk. All that, you know. The look. But he was fair. I thought he was reasonable. Yeah, he wasn't like, he just wasn't being petty. Right. Yeah, you know? he wasn't petty. I'll say he that. Was, he was going off the rules of the streets. Right. He was saying, and he's, they were talking about um, High Post, Rock's ex Right, who, who died. Yeah, and he put her into the game, and early in the episode, after Kanan got beat up at the park, he narrated High Post and said, you know, High Post got beat, uh, burnt alive for talking. <sighs> yeah. Savage, so did. But he liked him because he was good to his mama, but... Mm -hmm. Clearly was and friend. he taught her the game. Right. Yep. <sighs> oh, oh, that's the um adult scene. Oh, okay. This is Power Universe, child. Yeah. So you know it's gonna be some. It's Hugo. It. Hugo it's Hugo and, and this little white, white girl, girl child. And oh my God, Savage. Oh yeah, she smells something, so she stops and gets she, up. She's gets like, up, puts her asking on. for her doggy Bella. Did you go poop Bella, or something? Do I, do I smell something? And goes to the kitchen and opens the microwave and she has a medium rare dog. Savage. I think it's been shot or stabbed, so. Cut up, looks like cut, neck cut. Mm -mm -mm. Savage. Yeah. Basically, Rocky's like, don't play with me. I'm not the one. Cause she told at the club when she was smacking out, talking about, we don't need you no more. We got another source. Rock was like, you need to wash your tongue. <laughs> Don't play with me. I'm not the one. She was dead serious. Yeah, literally. Next scene, we have Kanan. He is at the building to take his entrance exam. Right. And, you know, his mama give him his lunch. She tell him he gonna crush the exam. And we get in the exam. We already know what Kanan do. Kanan, you know, we hear his narration. And he was like, basically, bump this. My mama needs me. Yeah, he said. And that. marks B all the way down, child. Yep. He said, we mark by the choices we make. And he is. Literally from the grave, Kanan, but we love you. Next scene, we have Kanan is done with the test and he back at the arcade with right. his friends. D Wiz and Famous and another character, probably somebody with that crew. He ain't been he ain't been um identified. And um 
they tell Kanan that somebody was selling on the Cordy corner of 140th. And Kanan thought that that was still his mama's corner. Because, you know, he not in the business, which is why he don't need to be. Right. He gets mad thinking that they selling on his mama corner. And you know what D-Wiz does. He says, D -Wiz, let's get him. I got my, he, no, he said, my brother got some guns. There's some guns around the house. <laughs> around the house. So they get guns and D-Wiz and Kanan have a gun. D-Wiz says, I don't know what you niggas going to do. <laughs> Famous says, uh-uh, I ain't going in the naked. What you want me to do? Yell at him? So in this next scene, we see little Miss Jubak child goes up to this Catholic school, I guess, all girls school. And these three white girls come out, the whitest of the white, blonde hair, blue eyes. They're like, hey, where you going, girl? And Jubak's come up to her junt, and her junt is like, I'm going to go with her. And they're like, <laughs> yeah. where you going, girl? She said, we had got a choir duet or something. That's different. right. So they go to this rooftop. It's kind of awkward. I think they clearly know each other's intentions, but... But Jukebox, I don't think she knows it herself yet, that she likes... Or she knows it, or she's just not ready to, like, jump yeah, out there yet. Yeah, she's not ready. Yeah. Because, you know, the little white girl, she was ready. She made a move okay. fast. But Juke, she... Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, in the end, we know that she catches right on up, child. So in this next scene, we're at a restaurant, and Rock is out with this square bartender dude who looks like a cop to me. I called it. So yeah, they're talking. He's sitting there with his shirt. Look like he got it from Chess King somewhere, child. Right, Lulu came to the dinner and yeah. told Rock, you know. Canaan. And then. Yeah, she's like, okay, I gotta go. So she drops a couple hundred down. He was like, I asked you out. She's like, I'm a boss, okay? She gets back to the house. Canaan's there with the blood on his shirt. And yeah. she's like, is that your blood? He's like, no. She was like, all right, what happened? But see, what he does not know is that when she was talking to Unique, they had worked out the block. So the guys were actually justified to be on that block and Kanan actually shot them, you know, and he was wrong, you know, and his mom is like, you don't know what you're doing. You ain't got no business out here. You know, now you didn't everything up, child, you know, now, you know, the deal me and unique head, I'm sure is gone and they know you did it. So they're going to be coming after you. This ain't cool. Yeah. He bucked up. He was like, I'm grown. He said. <gasps> Show did, child. He, said, he was like, I'm grown. Telling his mama that if she need him. <laughs> and that you what? he the person that's going to you know, do everything she need him to do. Yeah. And she's like, I did not want this for you. So he's like, you know, you tried to send me to grandma's, you know, uh, but then you keep me here. It's like you playing with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted to send me, you didn't want me in this, you should have sent me. But you know, I'm here, you know, I see what's going on, you know, I'm smart as hell. Why you think you want me to go to that school? Then you know, you know Lulu and Marvin, they we gotta get rid of that jacket. <laughs> we gotta get rid of it. We gotta burn it. Later that night. Yeah. The next scene, later that night, Kanan comes from his room. Tries to talk to Rock. She shut him down again. Oh, she ain't having it. She's hot. Told him to take out the trash and that he's going to his grandmama's. He goes to take out the trash. And while he's taking out the trash, Unique's men roll up on him. They spray it at him with them. Thank God they missed. Yeah. They then she miss. comes outside. She's like, oh my God. She shooting at them. Yeah. <laughs> Did not. With y'all and these guns. <laughs> Then we meet the cop of power. Um, Omar Epps. Yeah. His name is like Malcolm Davis. Yes. That's his name. Yeah, Malcolm on the show. Davis. And it seemed like him and Rock kind of had a... History. History a little bit. It did. They were familiar. It seems like she he knows that she's in the game. Yeah. And he, he felt like he knows about Kanan too. I think um, all he knows, I think, is that they have a bounty on their head. I oh, that's right. I don't think he knows. That Kanan shot him. Yep. Yeah. yeah. He shot Buck 20. Jukebox comes. And what's so funny is... Everybody was asking, where was Jukebox at? Yeah. Like, Jukebox is clearly his, like, protector, keeps him in line. And, of course, you know, he didn't want to rat her out because he knew where she was. He knew she was with he that said, white girl. Um, He's like, he was with that white girl. Where he was you? like, where was you at? She ain't even, as he said, white girl. They both smiling. Crazy. It was kind of sweet, though. Yeah. They know each other well. Yeah, they do. So then we have another meeting with Unique and Rock. You and can't now, go in this time. He mad. Yeah. He's saying. He's like, okay. He's, I can't control people rolling up on your yeah. boy. He said, he said, I'll cancel the bounty because, you know, Rock tries to give him some money mm -hmm. for buck 20. And he mm -hmm. was like, that ain't going to be enough. He right. said he want all those corners. And he just makes it clear. He just says, I'm not responsible 
He says, I'm not responsible for anybody wanting to take actions into their own hands. Right. And that Buck knew a lot of people on the south side, things like that. He just demanded them corners and left. That was it. And then Rock said... Real Nino Brown child, child. Rock said she ain't blinking, so I think it's going to be tension soon. Yeah, soon. <laughs> it's already tense. It's going to be... Lulu and Marvin are telling Rock, they say, hey, people gonna be after Kanan whether he go to their school or not, you know. Right, might as well way. just go and bring him in the fold, child. And just, you know, protect him. Yeah. You know, they, they tell him, hey, I ain't trying to teach you how to raise your child, but... They knew better. Yeah. <laughs> like, but they were like, look, Kano school or his mama yeah. save him from that. Right. Rock drives Kanan out to uh, this Open closed field. area. Yeah. Yeah. And gives him a gun. She says, oh, ooh, slow down. I'm Sorry. talking too fast. <laughs> <laughs> she just tells him um, early in the episode, she says the only thing she was good at in school was astronomy. And Crazy. Yeah, that's what she was talking about. And when, I love that though. When they were in the when they were in the field, she said You see these stars. That's Orion. She right. said the hunter. Never the hunted, you know. And Always the hunter. Kanan told Tariq that. He showed it. Yeah. yeah. This stuff's so good. Yeah, it's like you getting to know where everything yes. is coming from. Where all of it's coming yeah, from. Yeah, it's true origin story. I'm sold already. So like my mama said, she gave him a gun and he points it out to the field. She said, hey, put two hands on that. She she gives him ropes. She tells him how it's done. And she tells him to squeeze one off and she tells him that bullet has got your name on it. Right, and you're going to be running for that bullet for the rest of your life. Yep. Savage. And you can kind of see how it changed him right there because he's shooting off rounds, and he's blinking at first, and then his eyes are wide open. Mm -hmm. He's just shooting the gun. He's not. Both even, of them are at this yeah, point. Yeah, at this point, the, after the last few bullets, neither yeah. of them were flinching. Just shooting the gun. A killer is born. <gasps> A killer is born. Literally. Next episode, the heat started up. Hey, that's how all the powers work. Yeah. Because at the beginning, everything was flowing good. And then problems start happening. Like in power, Tommy and Ghost, they was running stuff. And then that boy stole their shipment. And everything changed after Shout that. Dead. Nothing was the same. Then in power book two, soon as, so Mon much. Soon as Monet moved to business with Tariq, yeah. came with crazy. Then this, mm. then this, we already know what make everything go crazy. Can't they shoot that boy? Yeah. And then everything just spin out of control. Courtney Kemp, her team, Sasha Pence. Yeah, y'all tune in the next they episode. They have done it again. I'm excited for the season. The music's, everything's so spot on. You know, I feel like I've been, been transported back to, like, Boys in the Hood days. I remember everything. I went to go see that in the movies. Hey, Jack City. All right. So, if you've been to this channel before, thank you so much for coming back. If you've not been here before, hit that subscribe and that like button. We'll be back next week with another review. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. See y'all later.